Hey there, Leo here, and today I'm gonna be talking about three ways um, your online business or three ways your online reviews benefits your business located here in Solano County. So if you're a small business owner, have a, a brick and mortar business and you've been asking yourself or wondering if, if, if reviews or comments that people leave for your business online really matters, then stay tuned because again, I'm gonna be covering three uh, ways online review benefits your business. So basically, I'm gonna be talking about three ways and why it really matters, right? Why they really matter. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we do that, uh, real quick about me. My name is Leo. I reside here in Solano County. And I have a small business called Digital Track. Let me show you here real quick. Um, where we've been working with small business owners that do not have an online presence. So we help them get built that with that online foundation, right? We help them to get that online presence. Or if they do that have an online presence, but it's too much for them to manage, we help them manage that online presence just because it is important, right? We from anywhere from um, building the website, update, uh, maintaining the website updated, um, maintaining the social media updated, uh, make sure that all social media information is completed so that there's no misinformation or wrong information as well as any other pages they may have, right? Yellow pages, Yelp, um, you know, do you have a, a, you know, is there holidays coming up? And then you might need to want to make sure that um, your holiday hours are updated in all the different sites where your business is listed. So it's a lot to manage for small business owner, right? That doesn't really want to deal with technology don't have any the staff to do it uh but perhaps right um they definitely could need the help to help them maintain all that so that's that's me and then you can come and uh, find me on facebook you can search for leo calleja and um see what i'm all about, all about you know what what am i doing in a community uh meet, get to meet my family etc all right let's go ahead and get started so um if you probably heard that term before about online reputation, um, if you probably if you heard that before about online reputation, but have you ever really wondered why it matters, right? You probably heard people talking about online reputation this or other business owners, right? Only online reputation that. Um, but have you ever wondered, ask yourself, does it really matter, right, for my business? Even if I'm a, a business that do personal imp transactions a person or you have a brick and mortar, Right? Do they do you really need to worry about what people are saying about your business online? Well, my the short answer from me will be, uh, of course, yeah, hundred percent for sure. You should be worried because just like people talking in town, right, or younger younger generation talk each other way more than they do in person on social media, right? So uh, definitely, you should be worried what people are saying about your business online, um, because. Um, the word of mouth is not the only way that we have to communicate now, right? We have phones, text messages, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. There are so many ways that we have the ability to communicate with each other that it's important that um, uh, that we understand that as a business owner. Uh, so here are some three reasons why your online reputation matters according to uh, some experts that uh, I was researching this. So... Number one, right? Number one reason is because it helps you. It helps you and your business stand out from the competition. For example, uh, if you think about how Windows Cleaner will differentiate themselves from another one, right? This is a uh, question that Morea Paulet. Shout outs to Morea Paulet from uh, Piedmont Avenue Consulting. Um, well, thanks to online reviews, you get a better idea of their customer service. Right, because you get to see a little bit of what what they're saying about the customer service experience with that business. Was it horrible? Um, did they take too long to respond to the inquiry? Right? Are they, uh, am I in a hurry to get um, the job done? But then, if they take too long, obviously, I may not go with that person. If if I leave, I request. Um, uh, inquiry to get to to give me to get back to me with uh, if they can help me or not. I may leave a request in let's say three businesses, and obviously if one ever comes back to me or takes so long, um, you know probably I will go. I will not go with them. Probably I will go with the ones that uh, do get to me faster and obviously um, are 
are you can see great reviews online etc right so how fast the job was done and so on all that things matters about what how your business will stand out when people are searching because let's say for example let me show you real quick if i do uh fair field windows cleaning window cleaning right if i do a search like that um, you can see over here that there was this one is the one that will stand out the most because um, uh, obviously it has reviews um, and you can see they ha it's provided the hours so it's a little bit more information. This one doesn't provide reviews. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, none of them have a website so there's a great potential over here Magic Mate. Um, so this one will be the one that stands out the most here in the perfect area. Um, simply again because um, it has it's the only one that has reviews and it has a little bit more information about them, which is open say to thirty. However, all of this can be improved uh, way more. All right, so that was just an example. In other words, the feedback that customers post online uh, have a major impact on your future sales prospect. According to Bright Locals 2016 Local Customer Reviews Service, most people, 91%, regularly or occasionally read online reviews, while 85% say they trust online reviews as much as personal recommendation. So think about this number over here. Uh, 91%, according to this consumer review that was done in 2016 by Bright Local, right? 91% regularly or occasionally read online reviews. And also think about your own situation or, you know, either because research that you have done or family members, friends, right? What do they do? Uh, do they usually go and do a search uh, online reviews? I know I do. Um, in regards to uh, my wife, she probably will, will see what other things can see online, right? What the people are saying if she's researching a product. If she's researching a, a, a local place, um, she more likely will go to uh, wait for somebody to t tell her about that place. Uh, in, in my situation, uh, I'm more than likely I, I will research um, just because the way I am, right? More than likely I will see different places, uh, price, a service, and product that I'm looking for, and research what people are saying about that business online. And then it says over here this other number, right? 84% say they trust online reviews as much as personal recommendation. Um, so that's how powerful that is, right? The, the word of mouth uh, ex uh, enhance experience, so to speak, I would say. All right, so then let's move on to the number two reason why, why your online reputation matters for your business is because it builds loyal ambassadors, right? People that advocate for your business that... And uh, whenever they mention about a specific service or products they do about your business, people will be um, talking about it, right? So, for example, I saw something on Facebook today. Uh, somebody posted a, in a local group, you know, who makes the best tamales because December is coming up. That's a tradition um, and uh, Mexican have, right, during December, twenty, you know, during Christmas to uh, make tamales. Somebody asked that, right, that question. And obviously, what is the thing that you will see? A lot of people will post their favorite uh, places about tamales. And then obviously, the ones that stands out is the one that constantly are repeated. There was a specific business that was constantly being repeated over and over again by different people. So the, what that tells you, right, that's how many uh, different uh, loyal ambassadors that business have when it comes specifically to tamales uh, in that specific area. All right, so um, so it builds loyal ambassadors and it generates sales leads. So it helps you generate sales as well. Um, again, you know, for in this example that I mentioned, um, uh, people comment and obviously uh, your name keep the name of your business keeps coming up and up. Other people start looking at that comment, and and some other people that didn't didn't even know about your business because of so many people are talking about it may. Be curious about learning more about that business and eventually come and try your food. And obviously, if it's as good as other people are saying, they're going to continue to come. Um, so instead of viewing customer service as a necessary chore, treat it as treat it as a marketing strategy, right? Customer service 
Um, definitely needs to be no a sure, but a, a marketing strategy because that is the reflection of the reputation of your business on the line, right? So, um, a lot of business owners um, that are successful, um, a lot of the time is because the way they are, right? The, the products and services, or, or the way that um, that their employees are as well, right? They all have this the same concept of, of understanding about what the business mission is, right? And so <clears throat> that's why it says over here, instead of viewing a customer service as a necessary short, treat it as a marketing strategy. Because when somebody feels a great experience coming to your business, that person is going to, by na nature, go and talk to other um friends and family about the experience they had in your business, right? How your business helped them, how your business was provided such a great product, such a great service. So there's no better marketing strategy than uh, all the people talking to each other about the great experience that they felt in your business. So customers who have a positive service experience are often happy to send goodwill recommendations and review, which is kind of what I was saying, saying. Uh, making them valuable inbound marketing channel. So this is the word of mouth review lead to high converted traffic and leads, right? Especially in the local business situation. Because for so many years that has been the um, uh, the bread and butter of so many small customer, so many small business, local businesses in town, right? Even before TV existed or, or, or radio, right? There was the the print media, but at the same time, there was a word of mouth, right? More people uh, sharing the the uh, about a specific business, so that obviously is much more powerful when it comes to um, converting into sales. Great reviews are powerful marketing tools that require no money and little effort on your part. Uh, so now let's go and talk about the reason number three: why online reputation matters. Right, it gathers insight about your strengths and weakness. So, as a business owner, sometimes we we may be too proud about the business that we that we do, right? But sometimes we gotta separate emotions with uh, logic or or um, what's best for the business, right? So, if for example I'm a restaurant owner and I know I like a specific plate, people should like this plate. Um, but they don't order it, they instead order another plate that you feel that is not as uh, as good as the one that you like, that you want to show it to people, then obviously you're going to lose pretty soon, right? People will tell you right away that that's not what we want. What we want is this other one. And why would you right, fight against your customers when we are in business for our customers? They are the ones that will help us Right, achieve that success that we want um, to go and do other stuff that you may want to do. Uh, right, either be if you want to do more in community, if you want to be able to travel more, if you want to be able to uh, purchase a bigger house, or um, um, I don't know, uh, whatever it is that your end goal is, um, then obviously customers are the ones that are will help us get to that. Um, so we have to be. Uh, not emotional with what they're saying, but instead take it as an insight or feedback, right? Or what is it that we, this stuff that we're doing good in our business? Or what is some of the stuff that we need to improve in our business, okay? So online reviews and social media chatters can provide valuable information you can use to improve your business. Online reviews over time will address nearly every aspect of your business, including services, hours, cleanliness, courtesy, and salespeople. Um, this is something that Chris Campbell, CEO of Review Trackers, said. Okay, so it's worthwhile exercise to take a step back and be honest with yourself about what is and what isn't working on your business. Let, we gotta be honest with ourselves. Okay, now, um, so that's all the information I have. If you have any, if you are a small business owner or your consultant or you help other businesses and you have any other reason you want to share with us why online reputation matters, please share with us, right? That's a question I have for you. Share with us. Um, let us know what uh, um, what that is, something that is working for you, for your customers. Um, yeah, so if you have any more questions about what we covered today, please uh, comment below, depending on when you're watching this. And if you want to see more 
uh, other videos in the future similar to this, uh, subscribe to the channel, like it, please share it with somebody that may find it helpful. Um, and in regards to the bonus that I have for you, so if you are a small business owner here in Solano County area uh, and you have been having issues with clients saying that it's hard to find your business online or that when they go and search for your business, they they're, they see your wrong information, right? Information that could lead them to call a different business because the phone number was wrong or lead them to go to a different business because the address is wrong. Or if you have issues with with um, your competitor coming up uh, on the search results instead of your business because your business is nowhere to be found, um, then let's, let's do, let me do something for you. Uh, come to my website, digitaltrack.co, and complete this form over here. And what's going to happen is I'm going to, if you s click this button, right, get my free report, I'm going to receive a notification with information about your business. And so what, um, what I'm going to do is basically uh, put a report together and, um, um, you know, provide you the analysis based on that, what could be causing those issues and also i'm going to be providing some recommendations but what i'll need you to do right is that um after i get this information i may need some more information from you so if you make sure to put your best email make sure to put your best phone number um, because if i don't have all the information i need from you then obviously i will not be able to to help you so i hope that helps uh and if you have um are interested in doing um Missing out, you know, if you uh, get in the on obligation analysis report, let's go ahead and talk. All right, have a good one. Um, by the way, my website, you can see my contact information. All right, have a great one. Bye.